Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to set up our budget for the last half of June. So this is gonna include our third and fourth paycheck of the month. And that's kind of how we do it, by the way, is we split it up by first paycheck, second paycheck, and then third paycheck, fourth paycheck. And the last half of the month also includes a fifth paycheck in the event that there are five Fridays. My husband and I are paid on a weekly basis. We simply just have like alternating pay schedules. So we're both paid bi-weekly, but on the Fridays that I'm paid, he's not paid. And on the Fridays that he is paid, I'm not paid, if that makes sense. So anyways, let's get started. In front of me, I've got my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, and I'm just open up to the notes page here to set everything up. And then I also have my stickers from Sarah Marie Stickers Shop on Etsy. I do have the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner as well as Sarah Marie's Sticker Shop on Etsy, linked down below, so definitely check that out if you're interested. But we are going to take, let's see, we need some thin washi. We need a June budget kit, the weekly check-in kit, and some thick washi and this bi-weekly budget sticker. And I think that's everything that we need. Okay, yeah. Alrighty, so the first thing we'll do is we will lay down our thick washi at the top. And you guys, I am making some very big changes <laughs> to our budget planner. Um, I'm really excited to share with you guys. I'm just waiting on some stuff to get to me in the mail so I can film a video about it. But um, I'm really excited. So I'm going to move out of this planner and into my 2019-2020, oops, my 2019-2020 <laughs> planner starting in July. And I think what I ordered should be shipping pretty soon here. So, okay, so we're just gonna put down our washi strip up there. I like to do that first to make sure I've got the script sticker. Or actually, did I wanna, yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just, I was gonna use the bi-weekly budget sticker, but maybe I'll just do that instead. I don't know. We'll save that for another time, why not? Okay, and then, as far as income is concerned, I dropped my pen. I'm not gonna go under my desk to go get it right now. So um, I've got my other pen here. This is a Frixion Erasable 0.7 pen. I absolutely love these pens. I love using erasable pens because mistakes inevitably happen with budgeting sometimes. So we've got our main source of income and our variable source of income. And We'll put down this total income strip. Okay, and as far as our main source of income is concerned, we are expecting to bring in $2,679. And for our variable income, we're expecting zero. So a total of $2,679 is expected. And let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. I always forget to do this at the start of a video. Okay, that's a little bit better, okay. So next, we will lay down some thin washi just to separate the income from the expenses. There we go. And we'll grab the expenses washi strip. Okay, so now we can start listing out our expenses. And 
those will be our July mortgage. So we'll be putting aside the rest that we need to pay our mortgage for next month at the end of this month. And we're also going to pay Banner Life, which is our life insurance. T-Mobile, which is our cell phone carrier. Our HOA dues. HOA dues, APS, which is our electrical company, electricity company. Then we've got Hulu. We've got um, water and trash. We have Southwest Gas. And then our Duncan app, which is on the first of every month. So I should note too, just um, a little side note real quick. Our fourth paycheck of June hits on the 28th. And as you can see right here, so the 28th will run, our next paycheck's not until the 5th of July. So the fourth paycheck covers expenses until the first paycheck of July, which is why the first of the month expenses are typically always included, or pretty much always included in the final paycheck of the month. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. Okay, so Duncan, and then we've got grocery pickup. We have gasoline for our cars. And then we get into our cash categories, which is food. And that covers pretty much like anything we get from Costco. If Walmart doesn't carry something we need and we need to go to our local Kroger or something, it would cover that. And it also covers eating out. So we do not have a separate eating out budget. An incentive of keeping groceries lower is that we can eat out. If we want to get more groceries, then we can't eat out. You know, if we happen to do really good with groceries and we have some extra money, we can go eat out. I got that idea from the budget mom and I just thought it was a really great idea to kind of keep yourself, you know, in check and making sure that we're eating what we have on hand too. Um, you know, if we're getting extra groceries, we shouldn't need to go eat out in theory, right? So I really loved that idea. And then we have our babysitter category. My husband and I have been trying to prioritize date nights more, especially before our next little one gets here. Baby Julia is due to arrive October 3rd. And then we've got church, which I take my daughter to church every Saturday evening. And usually afterwards we grab like a little bite to eat or something. Plus we like to give to our church um, as we are able to. So that kind of covers that. And then we have hair and nails. I'm just putting a little C next to it just to mark that it's a cash category. And then we have household, which that covers like personal hygiene, cleaning supplies, batteries, <laughs> things of that nature. And then we've got Maddie's commission money. We do pay our daughter to do certain chores. She's expected to do some just as a member of the household. And then there's some extra chores we give her that we pay her for and we are currently teaching her to save 25% of what she earns and spend 75% of what she earns and when she gets a little older we'll throw giving in there as well. We're just starting off with those two categories. And we got miscellaneous which is almost like our little buffer like our oops I forgot that type of deal. Um, my pocket money. I'm not giving my, my husband any because um, he likes to take his all out at the beginning of the month. I like to split mine up because if I take it all out, it will be gone. So I intentionally space it out so that I'm not left at the end of the month with nothing. <laughs> um, and then we've got our sinking funds and we have unbudgeted. Okay. So next, I'm going to put in the total expenses washi strip. It's right at the bottom here. 
and we'll start listing out the amounts. So for our, well actually let me draw my lines first while I'm thinking about it and kind of more into drawing lines just to kind of keep everything as centered as I can. And it doesn't have to be like super straight or perfect, but as good as I can get it. So we'll draw our lines and then we'll put in our amounts. And then our under and over column. Okay, cool. So July mortgage is going to be $886.27. Banner Life will be $22.22. T-Mobile is $120. HOA is $104. And then APS is $174.52. Hulu Live, I'm guesstimating, will be about $56. We did cancel HBO now that Game of Thrones is over. Although I'm sad because I was just getting into Big Little Lies with uh, Reese Witherspoon and Meryl Streep and Nicole Kidman. Such a good show. Like, I love it, but I'm just not willing to pay the extra to watch it. Maybe one day, you know, I will, or maybe I'll rent it or something, but... That's okay, I will live. I'm trying to read more too, instead of like watching shows and just be more productive with my time. And really the only reason why we're keeping the live portion of Hulu is for sports. Um, that's really it. <laughs> so otherwise we would just have the basic package, but um, yeah, so, all right. And then water and trash is $93.69. Southwest gas randomly went up, so I'm gonna guesstimate 40 just to be safe. It went up by like seven bucks, something like that. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's not any more than 40. And then Duncan is 25, and that will cover the whole month of August, or I'm sorry, the whole month of July. Grocery pickup, I think we may bump this up in July, but we're gonna do 100 for the last half of June. Gasoline, we're going to do 150. Gas prices are still pretty up there, so I want to stay on the safe side. And then we'll take out our cash. Um, and I'll be stuffing our cash envelopes this Saturday, so stay tuned for that video so you guys can see like our whole cash system and all of that. But for now, we'll break it down just here. And we're doing 20 for the babysitter. Church is gonna be 25. Oh, and 250 is for the food, eating out, Costco, random grocery trips, things like that. Um, and that's in addition to grocery pickup. So grocery pickup really covers like produce and if there's like something super specific we need for a recipe that we don't have on hand already or can't get at Costco in bulk or or would rather not have in bulk because there are some items that I prefer to not have in bulk, you know, that sort of thing. So, oh, and big thank you to whoever pointed out the berries <laughs> to me. There was a recall on the Costco berries. So thank you for that. I appreciate you guys looking out. Hair and nails, we're gonna take out 40. Household is gonna be 50. Maddie's commission is gonna be 10. She can earn usually up to $5 per week. And then miscellaneous is 25. I'll take out 50 for myself. Sinking funds are gonna get $265 in the last half of the month. And then we never budget anything for unbudgeted. So that is zero. So our total expenses as of right now are 2,500 six dollars and seventy cents and julia our baby girl we're kind of saving money as much as we can for maternity leave baby gear medical expenses all that kind of stuff so i'm going to use this potential savings washi down here 
so we can kind of keep track of what ends up actually going into her account. And the way I'm gonna figure that out is I'm simply gonna deduct our estimated expenses from our estimated income. So not a whole lot, just I can tell right off the bat. So 2679 minus 250670. So we are potentially saving $172.30. And then I'll go ahead and throw some um, some that decorative washi at the bottom here, because why not? Okay, so that takes care of the uh, actual budget itself. And then the other thing I'm gonna set up is just our weekly check-in page, just like I did over here. So this'll be for week three and four. So I'm going to lay down some thick washi on this side. have to check make sure I'm not going over the page or something okay and then we'll do our weekly check-in oops I love having this page it's really nice and then I will do the little strip header here And I keep wondering like why that's bumping. It's because my daughter was playing with um, these bookmarks and oh my gosh, there's a bunch of them in there. So I'm not gonna even bother with that right now, but okay. So as far as the categories that we're going to track, so we'll start with, let's see, make it a mess over here. Get some of this cleaned up. <laughs> okay, so the categories we're gonna track are gonna be uh, grocery pickup, do you guys like my little tan line? <laughs> I've been wearing my Fitbit and my watch. Uh, yeah, anyways. And then we've got gasoline. So these are the things that we use our debit card. Outside of bills, we have like reoccurring, you know, monthly bills that come out of our checking account, but then um, grocery pickup, they don't take cash. So that comes out of debit, gas comes out of debit. And then um, I like to track my Duncan app just to keep myself in check <laughs> each week. Um, lately, I've only been going on Saturday on our way to grocery pickup and getting you know, little donuts for my daughter. And then I always like to get my caramel cold brew. It's seriously my favorite time of the week, as like sad as that might sound. Okay, and then we're gonna track some cash categories. So we'll track um, food, and we'll track, let's see, track food. Um, do I want to just track all of them except for Maddie's commission? I feel like that doesn't matter so much. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just want to make sure I'm not getting myself into a situation where if I have three weeks, I'm not going to be able to fit it all on the page. So I think for, well, yeah, you know what? We'll just do it this go around. So, and we'll see how it goes. So we got babysitter. We have church. We have hair and nails. Which that'll probably be gone. Because I'm going to take my daughter, I think, to go to pedicure. I have to say that kind of quietly. <laughs> and then we've got household. And I like to track the cash categories 
simply because it just keeps me in check. Like I know I can like look in my wallet at any point in time, but this just holds holds me extra accountable. Like sharing that with you guys more and just like helps me like stay on track of it more on top of it, if that makes sense. So it's something that I may not always do because I could always just look in the envelope and see how much is remaining. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let's see, and then my pocket money. And that should be everything. So now we'll put in our next little strip. Yeah, I, I feel like if I end up having like three weeks in a month, like I know our next month is gonna be August, we have five, um, five Fridays, so three weeks in a um, bi-weekly budget is what I meant. So it wouldn't all fit. So maybe I will just start tracking the, yeah, I might just start tracking um, just the debit categories. Okay, and so this is week three. So I'll just put this little week three sticker right here. And then that'll be it. So the next, um, for week four, I won't fill in, you know, all that right now. I'll just do that in my own time, but I just wanted to give you guys a idea of what it looks like. So I've been really loving this particular setup. Just having everything kind of split up for me to see has been extremely helpful. Um, and I'm sorry, my wheels are turning in my head <laughs> with this page. So anyways, um, yeah, so I'm switching things up quite a bit in uh, starting in July with my deluxe monthly. I've got this like big project I'm planning on doing, which you guys will know much more about very soon. I'm just waiting for some stuff to go come in the mail so I can film my video and get it going. But yeah, so I'm a little distracted by that. But yeah, I hope that this was helpful for you guys though. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to catch all of my future videos. If you have any questions, comments at all, definitely leave those down below for me. I try to follow up to questions as quickly as I possibly can. And also anything that I use for budgeting is always linked down below. All my stickers that I use, my planner that I use, all that is down in the description box along with uh, coupon codes and referral links and all sorts of good stuff. So definitely check that out if you're interested and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.